Hey everyone, welcome to a very special episode of Sports and Geekery. Uh, do you know what it is, Luke? Uh, how many years? It's ten. It's, um, ten years. Ten years. Uh, Luke is currently 17. Uh, so for the majority of his life, we've been doing these Box Breaks videos. So I went back in the first Box Break we ever did officially. We had a couple videos of Lucas just opening packs of cards. But the first real Box Break we, we did, we put some effort into it, was... A top series one baseball uh, from 10 years ago. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take a quick look uh, back at some of the last 10 years worth of series one baseball box breaks that we did. And please pay attention. I am ageless, but Lucas definitely changes throughout the video. Uh, just a little. This is Lucas and uh, my dad. And today we are going to do another box break which is the newest uh, set uh, which is the top series one baseball 2014 Albert Pujols and I got nice. the autograph what oh dun, 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 Andre Renzo, Renzo from the White Sox I autograph there on card very nice oh, on the cards on sticker I think that uh, yeah, it looks like a sticker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, 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 Oh, well. Still a very cool little collectible. That's it. All right, so you got two out of the three hits so far. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. 2015 Topps Baseball Box has arrived. Thank you very much, United States Postal Service, for bringing this beautiful jumbo box right to my house. One autograph, two relic cards in every box. Uh, Speaking yeah. of autographs, I actually, um, since this is a Paw Sox hat, I actually have, um, a, um, an autograph on this hat. Yep, you got the, the bill signed. We go to, uh, try to go to how many? Six or seven, uh, Pawtucket Red Sox games a season. Uh, looking at going to about the same this year. Uh, so if you're in the area and you're at one of the games, please feel free to say hi. And our autographed card was the great bam, 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 Chipper bam, 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 bam. Jones. Look at that. Of course, nice boop, top sticker boop, on there. Boop. So I hope you enjoyed this first look at uh, a box break for 2015 tops. Uh, we got a lot more baseball breaks. Come hey everyone, we're back with our 2016 hobby box break of Topps Baseball Series 1. It's really numbered six of ten. Six of ten? Right there. Wow, look at that. Stephen J, you just got a silly numbered see through card. No kidding. It goes to me. The, Rick the relic po goes to me. Rick Porcello. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> no game. Ow. He's finally here, guys. Tops Baseball. It's finally back after the longest time. We've done so many different things from Star Wars to older boxes. It's just finally nice to see a new set. Seven goes like this. Whatever. All right. Well, anyway. Don't question my tactics. Uh, we got the nice little patch card there. Pretty cool. Hey, everyone. It's that time of year again. Baseball is almost upon us. Even though we're getting snow left and right here in New England, we have uh, baseball on the minds because it is officially the unofficial start of baseball season. The official unofficial start. Uh, last, yeah, year. last year, my favorite, we'll do baseball set, is a stadium club for me. And this my is, favorite baseball set? Yep. <laughs> I don't know. Hey everyone, welcome back. 2019 baseball coming up quicker than you'd ever imagine. Even though the country's in a deep frost right now, uh, baseball is in fact around the corner. And Topps has released its hobby box doo -doo -doo, Jumbo 2019 with one autograph and two relic cards. This is a rookie card autographed by Tyler Ward. Taylor Ward? Hey everyone, welcome to our first break of 2020. This is Topps Series 1. We got a Jumbo box here. Uh, celebrating the decades with one guaranteed autograph and two guaranteed relic cards, including potentials for autographed relic cards. 
Uh, we're live on YouTube, first time this season. And I got a Boston Red Sox, serially numbered 089 out of 149. Raphael Devers patch card. Hey, look at that. Look at that. So you, you, you can't keep the, uh, you cannot keep the uh, Red Sox down for long. Here we have the Boston Red Sox, oh. another patch card. Andrew Benatendi. Andrew Benatendi patch card. It's just really. white, but. Yeah. Well, this is top uh, series one, so you're not going to expect any. But man, this is number two. Out of 25, for one of the all-time great uh, modern era Yankee players, and I'm talking about, of course, Don Mattingly, hey. with the 1971 uh, design on it, which is nearly impossible to get mint condition because of the black borders at the time, always dinged up. Hey everyone, welcome back after five, five, five six months. months. Yeah. A lot of months uh, without a YouTube video, obvious uh, COVID, baseball-related issues. A lot going on in the world, uh, but we're back. Uh, the first big release of 2021, Top Seminole Series 1 Baseball, 70th anniversary uh, release. McKenzie, Tristan McKenzie, uh, this, he is bone thin. Like even, like yeah. he, his pants, probably the smallest pants they make in the Major League Baseball, and they still sag in uh, when his belt's too tight. Um, nickname. That's the one. Just your generic white patch. Yeah. No color. So that's your standard top series one hobby box hit. Uh, hey everyone, long time no see. Uh, we're back with another video upholding the annual tradition of a Topps 2022 jumbo box. Three guaranteed hits, one autograph, two relics. Could be autographed relics, probably not, no only tops. Uh, we got a sketch card. Really? Oh, wow. And it's uh, signed on the back. I Sharpie don't... sketch card of Tatus Jr. Holy moly. Look at that. Look at that. That is awesome. Wow. I, I didn't know. That is phenomenal. Wow. This card is for the Yankees. It Ooh. is for, uh, is it Lewis Gile? Jill? Lewis? Uh, it's autographed uh, rookie card there. Nice. It's not the usual uh, looking card, you know, with just the sticker on it. You have received a Baseball Stars autograph card. Pretty cool. Board. But until next time, I'm Matt. And I'm Lucas. And thanks for watching, all right? All right, Luke. Uh, uh, looks like you've changed a little bit. Over the years, we've changed our position of where we've done these box breaks. Yeah. Um, we've been upstairs, downstairs, over there, over there. Uh, we had a bunch, and we had that whole wall of pinball machines. Yeah. Uh, now we're in front of the game room uh, side of the basement. Uh, you can't see it, but there's bookshelves of board games. The room that probably game. didn't even exist when we started this. No, this was uh, still closed off. This was a workbench storage area. Um, so yeah, we've come a long way in the last 10 years. But we have two of these blaster boxes of Topps Series 1 Baseball. I'm really fond of this year's design. So Topps, every, uh, every uh, what am I, 20 years, Topps does a design where it features a player plus a picture uh, in the corner. So if you look behind us here, you can see the original one from 1963. Then Carl Yastrzemski was 1983. This Kevin Euclid was 2003. And this year... 2023 baseball you see the little pictures in the front uh very cool looking design i've always been a fan of it uh so i'm looking forward to breaking these open uh these blaster boxes finally after COVID, are in plentiful uh supply uh, every time i stop into target they have about 60 of these boxes i've heard some things uh you know tops bought by fan uh, fanatics uh, a couple of years ago having trouble uh make it manufacturing these things they've already canceled about seven or eight baseball sets this year wow. uh they canceled fire they canceled opening day. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, which is fine because that was kind of the same thing, uh, yeah. the same cards. But they do have a set coming out called uh, Big League, which is a lot of fun. That's going to be their introductory uh, priced one. So it's not going to use the same design as these. So that's cool. Okay. We'll, we'll have to check that out. Uh, but they canceled a lot of those, and they it looks like they may have overproduced these. Uh, there's a few issues with the, um, with the correlation. I guess there's uh, hobby boxes or missing inserts. People have opened an entire case. Uh, I can tell you that Fanatics has A-plus packaging, because uh, this is the 
toughest plastic I have ever come across uh, opening up baseball cards or any kind of sports cards. You got it? They survived my teeth for Ooh. a good 15 seconds. <clears throat> all right, exclusive to this and all value boxes. Guaranteed to include one of 50 different team logo patch cards featuring some of the best MLB players from all 30 teams. Look for rare and limited parallel logo patches to, to chase, including blue, black, sequence number to 299, gold to, one seven, uh, to 75, Red to 10 and platinum are sequ sequentially numbered one of one, and then in red, the only one in the world. No way. S select players also feature a special autograph version numbered to 10 or less. So very cool. I'm glad to be able to find these without people throwing punches or, or you know, being crazy. Uh, there's 14 packs of cards plus one exclusive commemorative patch card for 99 total cards per box. Uh, the pack, it doesn't look like the, I thought the, uh, the patch card would be separate, but you could clearly tell which one has the patch yeah. in it. Uh, so you want to do that first or last? Get, get the manufactured first. relic out of the way? Yeah. All right, so the first card of the 2023 baseball season for Lucas oh. is going to be... That's, wait. Wait. Wait, what's, they're both backwards. Yeah, they, they do a lot of a different correlation in these. Okay. It's going to be a White Sox player for me, Liam Hendricks. And it's going to be a Dodgers player for me, Gavin Lux. I think this was probably the first one. This also might be the last one. It gets, it's all flipped around. Yeah. I can't, I don't remember which But way. you can see the picture on the front, and then you have the little photo of the player, uh, which is very nice. They don't just use the facial shot from the action shot. You have the logo, which is kind of jammed in there a little bit. Chicago White Sox, and then the position down in the corner in the base. So what we're looking for is a lot of action shots, anything unique. Uh, I got a call, a Cal Contrell, Cle uh, I can't even say Cleveland Indians, Cleveland Guardians. That's the first Indian. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first Guardians player of the year. You uh, got Yadiel Hernandez. Very good, 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 good. Uh, wait, what was I? Oh, yeah, this guy's doing a cool bat flip. I couldn't remember what I was going to say about that card for a second. I got a, my first insert card is going to be a Stars of MLB, Fernando Tatis Jr. And you can see this one has a nice little reflection on it. Very cool. Well, I got uh, uh, the second Guardians of Ooh. the day, Nol Nolan Jones. He's uh, an outfielder. Yeah, I'll put that in the old, here, we'll do a uh, Guardians pile here and a Red Sox yeah. pile there. Well, it's already not looking too hot. I got a, a nice Polish gentleman, Josh Wojcicki, oh, okay. uh, pitcher for the Red Sox. Never heard of him. He uh, comes by way of the Red Sox farm system, worked his way up Portland two years in Worcester, then made his major league debut last year. And you can see the little rookie card oh, yeah. emblem on there. So you got your first Red Sox player. I got a one-two punch card. Uh, it's Joe, Joe Ryan and... Sonny Gray for the Minnesota yep. Twins. Nice. And I read this. I thought it said Joe Rogan. I was like, <laughs> okay. He's everywhere, people. Podcasting, UFC, baseball. And I got a Nolan Arenado commemorative team logo card. It looks nice. Yeah, they actually did a pretty good job with it. I'd say it was probably one of like the better inserts that, yeah. you know, at least I've seen in a while. I don't know. Very nice. That isn't like something crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got a Stars of the MLB, uh, Bobby Witt Jr. Oh, nice. One of the hottest uh, rookie cards in the last couple of years. Um, I haven't seen any great, great action shots yet. Uh, you know, Tops usually does a fantastic job with said uh, photography. And my team <clears throat> card is uh, Wander Franco for the Rays. Oh, your, uh, your little patch card? Yeah. We got Tommy Pham for the Red Sox. Looks like he just uh, gave the ball a good uh, whack -a -dola, And off it goes. I don't know any of these people. Christian anymore. Javier. Astros struck out someone. A lot of excitement, which is good to see. I got a Shane Bieber. Cleveland Guardians. Whoop, whoop. Oh, oh my god, all right. I got an Eli Morgan for the Guardians. I got a blue 
uh, bordered, non-numbered Red Sox, Alex Virgo. Uh, he's been there for three or four years, came over from the Dodgers. And that's a nice look, little card. I like the uh, border on it. Oh, yeah. With the white, how it trails down and then yeah. drops off at the end. Very cool. Uh, I got a very excited man, Paul Seawald. Uh, who is screaming at the gods or something? Yes, he is. Are you screaming at someone in the stands? Either way. Right. Speaking of excited, I got Josh Naylor for the Guardians, and you can see that excitement on this man's face. He brings a lot of high energy. He reminds me of my uh, my old favorite uh, Tyler Naquin, who used to be on the Cleveland team. Uh, I got a a chrome here. Ooh, nice. It's gonna be uh, Albert Almora. I don't know why. I Ten years, like that. still can't pronounce the last names. Is uh, there any number on it or anything? I didn't check. No, no. I, I do like that double point. I feel that he did something good. I got a stars of the MLB, Riley Green. It feels like they're lighter on the uh, the inserts this year. Yeah, I got stars of the MLB, Christian Yelich. And then I got, uh, I got the San, Fr San Francisco Giants. Oh, the team card. Team card. Nice. Is back the is uh, the back a checklist or it just gives yeah. some overall team stats? It gives team stats. Oh, nice. The, the wins, losses, where they finished, the longest streak, and then the team leaders. Very good. Uh, I got a Jonathan Arado rookie card for the Rays, and this is a man who looks like he does not enjoy running the bases. <laughs> He looks like he is having not a great time. Uh, my next three cards are all special cards, so I got um, three special cards. I'm not Wee. sure what this what this is. It doesn't have a. Oh, here we are. 2022 National League home run leaders. Oh, it's nice. Schwarber, Alonso, and Riley. Good, awesome. I like it when they do the, the league leaders from the previous year. I think it adds a lot to the. Uh, Enjoy this. For the process. And then we got a uh, team, teammate celebrates walk off. Uh, this is a Wild West card. Is what it's uh, labeled as, if you want to look at that. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, yeah, this is the National League West Championship game. Uh, walk, uh, walk off win, uh, San Diego Padres. Very nice, that's cool. And then I have the ERA leaders. The ERA? You, How do you say that? I can't see it. Uh, Urias, yeah. Alcantara, and Freed. I can't get the first one there. <clears throat> I always like the pitchers who do the big heel kick. Oh, and, and yeah. The, you know, the heel comes up. I mean, that's crazy. That's maximum effort. So I got two inserts out of this pack that are pretty cool. I got a uh, the stars of the MLB, uh, Chisholm Home Jr., that's a, a nice enough card, but this is a really cool one. This is a, it's an all aces, and it has the uh, like oh. a playing card style to it. And this is the ace. That's really cool. And this is uh, Stefan Strasburg for the Washington Nationals. And even the card uh, shape is rounded like a playing card. Yeah. It's not sharp like the rest of them. That's a really cool card. I like it. Uh, they used to do this in, I'm going to say... Gypsy Queen may have done this uh, in the past. Probably. They do all sorts of crazy Yeah, stuff. but that is a very cool looking card. What was that? All Aces? All Aces. Yeah, it's 1 in 16. Nice. That's really cool, though. Yeah, that is a I, That's a surprisingly high quality looking card. Yeah, it does. For a top space set, that definitely looks like one of their other uh, Gypsy Queen or yeah. um, one of those kind of sets. Uh, Alan and Ginter. I got a Toronto's Young Stars Celebrate. Uh, this is Vladdy and Bo celebrate a walk-off win. Nice. I got Oscar Gonzalez, rookie card for the Guardians. Uh, I just got the uh, base card for Alex Ver Verdugo. I got Jeter, Jeter Downs for the Red Sox. It is a rookie card. Making a comeback here. Yeah, Red Sox coming out in force all of a sudden. 
Christian Vel Velich for the Brewers. Very nice, very nice. I like this one, this Trent Grissom. Uh, looks like he's about to toss his helmet in the air after a particularly wonderful walk off. I got, um, what is this? Uh, like a throwback card. Ooh. Uh, for uh, the tragic Francisco Lindor. Ugh. The Mets superstar shortstop. Although the Guardians have survived pretty well without him. Uh, that's cool. I remember collecting these. Very nice. It's card number T88. So this is the Topps 88 uh, year. A very, very nice, simple set. I like how the uh, the logo is behind the player. Yeah. You know, so it looks like it's you know kind of a three dimensional look. I got uh, M perennial MVP candidate. Jose Ramirez for your Cleveland Guardians. Just signed a long-term extension a year ago, so he'll be there for a while. I got stars of the MLB, Lewis Robert. I got a twofer. Uh, I got two stars of the MLB. I got Byron Buxton and Nolan Arenado. And I did last year, I did the home run challenge uh, with Pete Alonzo, and I won again. So I got another limited edition Pete Alonzo home run contest card. Nice. We haven't seen any of those uh, contest cards this year. I wonder if they're not going to do it this year. I got another, is the same ERA leaders? I don't know. So there's a bunch of insert sets that they list on the side. Uh, one two punch, I haven't seen yet. There's 25 cards in that set. 2022's greatest hits. All Aces, which was the playing card. 1998 Topps Baseball, which was the Francisco Lindor card. And Heavy Lumber, which is marked as rare in uh, bright red. And there is a home run challenge again this year. So usually we get one or two per box. So I'm hoping because I've had some good luck with those. I got the Boston Red Sox team card. Oh, awesome. Uh, we don't normally get our team cards when we do this. Or maybe we do. I don't know. Owen Miller for the Guardians. My Guardian stack is getting a little bit bigger every the time. Most cards that you've gotten for your team in a while. For a long time. I feel like you are, you're always down. Lewis Urias for the Brewers. Uh, this is a nice action shot. And you can see, uh, if you could, on the top of the card, the ball still in oh, the frame, yeah. which is critical on these kind of, in my estimation. Uh, Tops does that very, very well. I got a throwback 1988 rookie card for Brian Bello for the Red Sox, a young hey. pitcher. Hey, he must be good if he's on an insert card. And I got a feature stars Jaren Duran for the Red Sox. I just got three twins in a row, and I don't like that. I got a stars of the MLB, Juan Soto, uh, Padres, big acquisition there. Padres someday will break through and win it all. Hopefully, God willing, <laughs> maybe, possibly, who can say? Uh, I got uh, Julio Rodriguez, stars of the MLB. Stars of the MLB. It's the MLB, now you know me. That was really clever. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Miguel Cabrera uh, doing a home run trot, something... We in Cleveland see a lot of from the Detroit Tigers superstar. I got uh, batting average leaders, uh, McNeil, Freeman, and Goldschmidt. I haven't gotten a single one of those cards. And you're getting all the, the team leaders or the league leaders. I got a U Darvish, and it looks like they had a special uniform this day. Definitely not the typical drab uh, Padres uniform that I'm used to. This, uh, I like this card. Mark Appeal uh, for the Phillies. It's a rookie card. Just a picture of his face. Looks like he's looking up at his own junk. What a world we live in. What a world we live in, Mark. Get your head out of the gutter. Come on. I know it's a great view, but a little self-restraint there. Hmm. Not a lot of great action shots this year. I, I, gotta, I, gotta be, I gotta tell you. Usually we got five or six fantastic uh, looking cards. Uh, very standard, you know, swinging the bat, fielding, you know, pitching, nothing, no, like, you know, usually they're crashing into yeah. the wall, or they're sliding in, or they're, they're, there's other players in the picture, they're sliding into second, yeah. they're turning the double. Uh, I got uh, Ronald Acuna Jr., stars of the 
MLB. And then I got my first home run challenge. I'll pick a shot they're in with uh, Bichette for the Blue Jays bow, if you will. So that's very cool. I have a good shot. He has a little bit of pop. Uh, so hopefully I can do three years in a row of winning one of these home run challenges. Uh, well, I got, this isn't like an interact thing, but I thought this jersey was really interesting. It says, uh, this is for the Brew, uh, wait, yeah, the Brewers. And on the shirt it says Brew Crew. Brew Crew. Oh, that's interesting. A little, little never, slogan uniform. I thought that was cool. And yeah. then I got uh, 2022 Greatest Hits. April 15th, 2022, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. for the Blue Jays. Uh, a bloody finger laceration suffered from being spiked by a Yankees player in the second inning of April 13th meant nothing to Guerrero, whose response was to hit th three home runs and pile up the second most total bases in Blue Jays history. Vladimir's first three-bomb game uh, included two... Off Max Schwartz, Schwar Max Schwarzer, yep. and this one, and this one included a pair off Garrett Cole. Nice. So that's uh, one of the subsets, the uh, 2022's greatest hits. This guy, take a look at that while you continue on. That's cool. I like how it's he's shattering the background. Mm. I got another star for the MLB. That's a nice insert. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, Hoskins provides jolt for Phillies. I don't know what that means. But, jolt. Yeah. Gave, gave him some energy. I guess, what, yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is the National League uh, playoffs. Walk-off double to win the game. That's his name is Rise Lightning. No. No, that's the that's the like title. The name is Hoskins. But why they? I don't get the. It's like and it also says it at the top. It's yeah, like, I don't, I don't like, get I don't um, get what the the reference is for. I don't either. Yeah, okay then, fair enough. Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks. All right. We each have. I have one pack left. Lucas has two, so we'll each open this pack, and then Lucas can open the last pack of the break. And these cards are all, all. Backwards, aren't they? All right. I like this one. Uh, Acuna Jr. Uh, he just gave that ball a who, what, what for. Going downtown with the heavy, heavy hidden. Very nice. Oh, here's a, a Max Stasis uh, Angels card. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. More of an action shot, you know, going for the ball. Uh, maybe looking to run it back to third. Uh, I like that. You know, besides the usual... Uh, poses that we've been getting this year. I got Tristan McKenzie for the Guardians. Ooh. And we got a, another pick a game for a shot to win card. Oh, nice. Uh, for Goldschmidt. Oh, good. He's got a little power pop in his back, too. Very cool. Two chances to win. I'll and take those odds. You're not going to like what I have to say here, but I got stars of the MLB, Francisco Lindor. Look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Left the Indians, or the Guardians, whatever it is. I got a Matt Strom for the Red Sox. Got a nice set of uh, locks on him. Angels. Did I do the Tatis Jr. one yet? With the, uh, with the, looks like he just hit a home run. He's I'm watching sure. that ball go. Very nice. I got win leaders, uh, Wright, Urias, and Darvish. Okay. I got a stars of the MLB, Alex Bregman <laughs> for the Astros. I've got a very well shot and composed image here of Teo Scar Hernandez. If you want to take a look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. That's a guy who just uh, hit one. And that ball, that ball's going downtown, folks. Throw that up there. I'm going to take a look at that in a bit. Uh, I got a Michael Harris, the second rookie card for the Braves, and this is the 1988 uh, style baseball card insert. And last but not least, for these two blaster boxes, Lucas is going to open up the cards, see what we got. Hopefully, a couple more Guardians. Right, let's see here.
I don't know, this is a, an interesting pose. I think he just threw a pitch, but it doesn't really look like it. Oh, yeah, that's his, uh, yeah, he just threw it. It's cool. He definitely doesn't have the high kick picture on that one. Yeah, I, he's, yeah, I don't even know how you even would get into that position when you're pitching. It's impressive. Uh, okay, we got uh, one of the throwback cards, Mike Schmidt. Oh, uh, Mike Schmidt. Oof. I had a friend back in Norton, uh, Pete Freeman, and Mike Schmidt was one of his absolute favorite oh. players. Do we have a pile for this? Yeah. There we are. What a third baseman he was for the Phillies. Got uh, stars in the name will be Mike Trout. That's a name I recognize. Yay! Hey! Hey! Baseball appealing to the Ute. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, we got uh, Nick Pivetta from the Red Sox. This is a pretty nice card. I like uh, the sideways and his leg covers. Yeah, that is a nice one. I mean, it's well framed. They did a great job with it. And then we have Raphael Devers. From oh, the Red back Sox. to back Red Sox, huh? Another good picture. Yeah, this one's mm. very nice. Looks. Uh, this guy. Yeah, it looks like he just tossed his bat. Are you there? Someone left him hanging for the high five. And the last card of the entire box is a Cleveland Guardians team card. Yes. Look at that. We both got our team card. Nice. Good celebration. All right, so how many Red Sox cards did you get? Well, all right, I got to count one. Did we get any other ones? I put the other special one in there. I got 10 so one, two, Guardians. We didn't get any uh, stars of the MLP for either team. I got... 11. I don't know about Biscuit. Oh, wait, you got one more here. Yeah, I kind of Oh, you kind of that one? All right. So the blue one saved your bacon today. All right, so that is the 2023 Top Series 1. Uh, I think they did a pretty good job with it. Not as The photography doesn't seem quite as on point as previous years, but I like the layout, and I like the insert cards. Uh, I really like this uh, All Aces insert. I think that's really nice. Um... You know, even the, the manufactured relics uh, aren't that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Bad? Yeah, gnarly looking, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's pretty solid. It's pretty cool. You know, if we had one for the Guardians of the Red Sox, I would not mind that at all. Uh, I think they've uh, done pretty well for themselves. I know there's some correlation issues and everything else, uh, but it should be fun. And there's a lot of excitement around baseball this year. They got a few new uh, rules changes. Oh, yeah. uh, they made the bases bigger. Uh, so there's less chance of injury and also shortens the length from bases. So they're hoping people get on more. They banned the shift. The shift. Oh, like, sh like moving the players around? Yeah. So oh, it used to really? be, yeah, they'd move like three or four players on one side of the base. Now they have to have two on each side. Huh. They have to be on the dirt so you can't change it too much. And they have a uh, pitch count clock. Right. I heard about that. Yeah. So they've knocked off about 35, 40 minutes per game. Yeah. Uh, which is great. So that means more action and with the shift, more balls in play. Uh, which I think will, will go well. Now all we need to do is for the regional sports networks to collapse so I can actually watch the Red Sox because if they're on Ness and I don't have cable, you can't get it. Um, but thankfully, hopefully Apple TV has a couple Friday night baseball games with the Red Sox and the Guardians so I can check it out. And hopefully they give me the MLB again with T-Mobile. They gave me the MLS soccer uh, pass, so I'm watching the Revolution tonight. But um, it'd be nice to be able to watch the Red Sox games on occasion too. So that's it. Uh, I know we don't come out with videos quite as often as we used to. At some point, we were doing like four or five a week. Yeah. Uh, but Lucas has his first job. He has a car. He has a gal. Uh, so he's a busy kid. Uh, but we will come back. We'll try to do the baseball breaks this year. And uh, as is the tradition, Lucas is rolling us out. So as always, I'm Matt. And I'm Lucas. And we'll see you again real soon. Bye.